Hey yo, what up people? This is your boy Jason JKX and today we are back with another video. And for today's video guys, I have for you an early look on the upcoming Jordan 11 bread. But uh, these are not the classic ones, the OG ones. They look a lot like it's almost the same shoe. But this time we're gonna have this shoe in velvet. What won't be special is the box. This is a regular Jordan box. Look at that, all right? Let's go with the shoes, because that's what we're here for. Not the box, man. But the shoes. <laughs> Bread. Jordan 11's Velvet. Okay. Okay, we got something going on here. We got something going on. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <sighs> yes, sir. Okay. 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 This is the shoe that we're going to review for you today, guys. The Jordan 11 Bread Velvet. Look at the shoes. Take a look at the shoes, man. But before I go into the details, quality, materials, how the shoe look and feed, and all the things that you want to know about, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content. Also, go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I have learned a new video which is every single day, guys. So go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Kicks. And now, let's begin this video. This Jordan 11 bread looks so familiar because it's a classic and OG colorway that, spoiler alert, it was not done the same way, not 100% the same way as the Jordan 11 bread. And I'm not talking about the materials used on the shoe. I'm gonna get a little more into the details of the shoe in a moment, but first, let me put these babies here side by side with the ones with the OG ones, the Jordan 11 bread, one of the best sneakers of all time. Look at the beauty here, man. I love these shoes so much. This is one of my favorite sneakers of all time, Bread 11s, man. I still remember when these shoes came out. It was crazy, madness. This shoe right here is one of the all-time classic shoes. A solid contender for the greatest sneaker of all time. That's what we have here, man. And now we're gonna have a new version of the shoe with a material replacement on this Jordan 11 Velvet Bread. And the, just the name of the shoe, just right there, you can see what's different on the shoe. The material is totally different. It's velvet this time, instead of the classic patent leather and the match upper of the shoe. This is um, almost full velvet on the shoe and looks really good. Looks really good, don't get me wrong. I mean, look at both of these side by side. It's technically the same shoe, just different materials. Actually, I told you, it's not only the materials, but you know my point, you know my point, but pretty dope looking shoe. I'm gonna get back to the issue in a moment. Now it's time to give you the review of the issue. So what are you going to get on the issue if you're going for it? First, let me tell you that this shoe will come in women's size only, which means that the biggest size on the shoe will be a women's 12. That's a men's 10 and a half. But if you can fit this shoe, I think you can go for the shoe if you want it, because yes, Nike is labeling this shoe as a women's exclusive, but this is a Jordan 11 bread. You know, you can wear these shoes easily, easily. If you're a guy, it doesn't matter. Now, lady, you have a really nice shoe on this one right here. So, what else you have on this shoe? Well, like the names already said, this shoe comes in velvet. That's the predominant material on the shoe. That's the one we have here replacing the patent leather and also replacing the mesh material right here is also velvet black velvet all over the shoes something that looks really cool depending on how you move it you're gonna see a color changing on the shoe i think that's pretty dope in my opinion better than the original no but still a cool looking shoe on the tongue we also have velvet as you can see right there and here is one of the differences between these and the og ones on this one on the tongue we only have red on the lettering and on the jump man and when it comes to the og one 
you can see that we have white lettering and the jump man in red on the back of the shoe we have the 23 in that metallic look in red and on the og one that's gonna be in white color and it's not gonna be that metallic shiny 23 on the back of the shoe so i'm telling you they look super similar but the color when you color blocking is not 100% the same. Like we have a lot more red on the shoe than we have on the OG ones, okay? Then uh, we have the white midsole, just like we have on the OGs. We have the red on the bottom of the shoe with the black tractions. We can see the Jumpman right there and we have the carbon fiber as usual. The outsole and the midsole looks exactly as the OG. And this is technically the OG colorway but it's not 100% the same color blocking because we have more white on the OGs than the one we have on this new version of the Jordan 11 bread. The replacement of the material is something that I don't really have a problem with because I don't see the shoe as the OG ones. I see the shoe as an alternative version of the OG ones. Looks super similar, yes they do, but as I show you, color blocking in both of these shoes is not the same. We have white on the 23 of the back, red on this one, white on the lettering on the tongue, red on this one. The Jumpman is in that metallic red that looks a little different to the stitching red Jumpman that we have on the OGs. Material is totally different. This is like a reimagined version of the shoe, we can call it, because materials are not the same and all that. But is this a bad shoe? I don't think so. Looks super good. I mean, still the bread color blocking on a classic silhouette like the Jordan 11. But should we put the shoe in the same category as this one? No, they won't be on this same level because this one is a lot more classic than the shoe. But if you didn't have these, this is a shoe that I recommend you to go for. Really nice, looks super clean, have almost the same color blocking, and it's gonna look just as good. Well, depending because you know the material is different, but still a really nice feeling material. I love the feeling of the velvet. I don't know why Nike only do um, velvet material when it comes to women's releases like women's releases when these shoes steal a gritting shoe which means that the shoe was made for a man so don't try to be the insecure guy right there asking like oh that's a women's shoe i'm gonna wear women's shoes boy you were trying to get all the amam and ears and those shoes release in women's size too a lot of travises those release in women's size too and you try to get them so don't be a hypocrite all right now the shoe, like I said, still pretty solid, looks super good, materials feel super nice. The only problem I see with the shoe is the fact that these babies don't come in my size. I'm a man's size 12, and the biggest size on the shoe is a women's 12. That's the only downside I see on this shoe right here. The material, I don't have a problem with. The replacement of some colors of the shoe for fully red, like the tongue and on the back of the shoe, I don't have a problem with that. I already have the OGs. I'm probably being a little selfish because I already have the OGs, but I think this shoe looks solid. I'm gonna try to get this shoe for my wife. She's gonna be the one doing the own feet in this shoe because I can't fit this shoe. It's not on my size. This is a women's nine and a half, men's eight. That's my wife's size, but this won't be her pair. I got the shoe only for the videos, but you can see that the shoe looks beautiful on feet. Yes, you can wear these shoes normally. The only reason why is a woman doing the on feet portions of the shoe is because I can't fit the shoe because of my size. But the shoe looks good. My wife is telling me that the shoe feels good on feet feels the same. She has the OG bread and she's telling me that both of the shoes feels the same. This, the Jordan 11 I'm talking about, is one of the most comfiest Jordans that you can get. For real, the comfort on Jordan 11s is so damn good. You only need to know how is the sizing when it comes to Jordan 11s. Like, I'm a regular size 11. But when it comes to Jordan 11, I like to do at least half a size up. I actually do a full size up in all my Jordan shoes. Even on the Jordan 1s, I can easily 
wear a size 11 on the good ones but i like the extra room and i'm doing a full size up even on the good ones that's a personal preference now if you want comfort on the shoe but you don't want all that extra room half a size up will always be the safe option when it comes to jordan 11 especially the jordan 11s jordan 3s jordan 4 and jordan 11s you always need to do half a size up at least full size up will be perfect especially on Jordan 11s. That's my best recommendation when it comes to the issue. And with all that being said, all I want to ask you now is, what's your opinion about the issue? Because in my opinion, they look good. They really look good. This will be the women's Jordan 11 of this year. Last year, we have the Navy ones and we had the Gratitude 11. This year, this will be the ladies Jordan 11, a beautiful shoe in my opinion, but remember, guys can wear these shoes as well but if you want to go for the men's one the official men's one it's gonna be an amazing one this year it's gonna be the columbia jordan 11s the legend blues the classic one one of the most beautiful ones of all time easily the cleanest jordan 11 of all time that's gonna be the men's pair but this one right here a beautiful shoe in my opinion looks nice material feels good but I want to know your opinion about this shoe. Are you going for these? Are you gonna pass? Let me know your opinion about it, guys. Do I think this shoe is gonna sell out? No, no. Even with this amazing and beautiful colorway, I don't see this shoe selling out. Just like last year's pair didn't sell out. The women, sometimes they, they hesitate a lot when, when Jordan Bryant gave them um, women's exclusive shoes. That's why I think it's so stupid by Nike to keep doing this women's exclusive. Not because I don't want women to have their shoes, but because I feel like all the shoes should release in universal size, like full family size that the kids, the men, the ladies, all of us can go for the shoes and we decide if we want it or not, you know, not putting a size limit on the shoes because that's what you're doing. And the ladies, a lot of times, it's the same for them because when Jordan Brown released a men's release, the ladies, which a lot of times has um, smaller foot than us, they don't have access to the smaller size. So it's the same. All I want is universal size for all the shoes. That's all I'm asking for, all right? Real inclusion. That's just my opinion, but let me know how you feel about this shoe. Are you gonna go for this or not? Let me know in the comment section. If you appreciate the content, I will appreciate if you leave a like, because the haters are not gonna do it. So if you appreciate your voice, leave a like. That's free, that's totally free. Um, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see more of my content, but outside of YouTube, make sure to follow me right here on my Instagram, Jason J. Kicks. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like shock drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. You're going to know about that first, right here on my Instagram, Jason J. Kicks. Thank you again for watching, guys, and until the next one. Now, these are clean for real. I'm not playing. These are clean for real. <laughs> Goodbye.